And would I get 200 miles out of this tank? Yeah, I right? I don't think I'll get 200 miles out of a full tank. Probably best to nip back and get someone here. Six, I think I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, I I'll speak it all over the place this year, because I was doing it the wrong side. Fucking well, maneuver over the tank. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How much do you put in, Dave? That's 16 quid, 15 pound. How much? 15 pound 36. What litres you put in there? Oh, you put eight, I put ten litres in. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, dear now, everything's a flash today, isn't it? Everything. well change the tyres. Uh, other than that, it just runs flawlessly and, you know, great fun to, to chuck around a little bit. Again, limited to how much I'm chucking it around because of the wet roads. But, um, otherwise, really enjoying it. So that's a bit of an update. Uh, I'd say I'll catch up as we go through the rest of the journey back. Uh, at the moment, the chain is working, but, uh, not a very good reception, so uh, I may or may not hear Paul again on the way back. So. Catch up with you again shortly. Nice. That's better. That's better now, couldn't it? You would have been fully out of me. I forgot the voice again, but you can't hear it. It's a bit fifty properly. No, it's a bit distorted. Well, it does when you're slowing down, and what it does, does it? If you're on the road, it'll, it'll do what you need. That's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to hit the 30. Oh, no, 30, still 30. Oh, no, oh, no, it's pleasant. She's pleasant. She's very nice. Oh, no. Well, hopefully tomorrow will be better, won't it? Put his fingers crossed for tomorrow. He, he says tomorrow's better and dry, so it can't be any further than that. Yeah. Well, by the time we get back, we'll be 
by the time he gets back, we should be on close to about with an 80 mile anyway. Yeah. And two, but considering the weather's crap. Yeah. That's all right, that is. I think we'd have done two, normally we'd have done about 217. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's all right, that is. It's all right. No, and then two, they look like they're camping, don't they? Them, them pair from Norfolk. Yeah, yeah, they do, yeah. You look quite, they look like... Oh, them proper weathered flipping earth people, isn't it? You know, you could see with them out of wires, that was just like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it just, yeah. Wouldn't bother, it so was soaking wet, so like, you know what I mean? That just ain't bother, don't they? This is a nice valley, isn't it? Beautiful, alongside the river. Just heaven. 
just plumbing heaven. Back unfortunately, again I think it's to do with the, uh, the altitude of where we are. Hopefully as we drop down again there, uh, may, uh, may well abate. I think the rain is uh, confined to the higher than higher ground when you're up on the way up on the hills. Pretty much in the clouds I think. Hello, 
ride back. We're just trying to find somewhere to get something to eat. This is proving a lot more difficult than we first imagined. So hopefully we're uh, we're getting sorted now. See you up, mate. That would is. Yeah, so the weather is really crap. Again. That's dampened our spirits today, I've got to admit it. I tried not to let it, but it's as bleak as this, it's very difficult for it not to. So there's a difficulty with finding somewhere to eat as well. Doesn't help matters, but hey ho. As I say, it's all part of the experience. Unfortunately this pub here on the left is not, uh, is not open for, for service. What do you reckon our chances are? Based on, uh, based on the look we've had so far. Yeah. A glass of coke, I suppose, or a cup of coffee. We could do, but we were just stopping here. There's somewhere else in my different style, haven't we? Let's stop here. <laughs> we're going to have to cup coffee. Or yeah. They do coffee, don't they? I like that question. I'm sure they do. <laughs> They've got to do coffee. Well, it's, uh, Half past seven, and we've just had a fabulous meal at the Gregarin's Inn. Um, we found it sort of, uh, we were looking for somewhere to eat, but uh, we weren't having a lot of success. Paul spotted it, we went in, we didn't start serving till six, we were there about quarter past five. So we had a few coffees, uh, a couple of coffees and uh, Paul had, uh, I think it was lamb's liver I had uh, the biggest portion of mussel starter he ever saw in your blooming life and uh, they was absolutely delicious, a lot of fine mussels and then I had a uh, seafood sort of uh, gratin, gratin for my main course and I'm absolutely stuffed and we're heading back now to the uh, Clyde View bed and breakfast apart from the weather brilliant day weather has spoiled it a little bit but we're now enjoying a bit of uh, dry a dry spell on the way back 24, 26 minutes back to the digs and tomorrow weather's looking better so we're off to do some more tomorrow and hopefully not get quite so wet so uh, yeah all in all and done a positive really so uh, just 
stick with us for the rest of the day is to get back to the digs. These roads are just sublime to ride. Wow, just rolling down into that scenery. Sandbank now, where our digs are. That's the Clyde estuary over there. As you draw it to close, day two of the holiday, but day one of the riding the bikes around. Uh, name of the place that I can't remember again. Got to do something about my memory. Anyway, I'll put it in the, I'll put the words, the place name on the screen. If I can, when I remember it. Here we are, just arriving back at Clyde View, bed and breakfast. Oh, do you, Perfect. You got room to it there. That was beautiful, that was coming back there, there, wasn't it? That was probably the highlight of the day. Yeah, I'll chuck mine down. Phew! Yeah. 
<laughs> Andi ya nih.